For the first time in the Atlantic Basin, we've had three major hurricanes in the period of October to November. And also, we've tied for the most named storms ever. 2005 held a record at 28. We've now reached that milestone with 2020. And we've also had the 12th hurricane of the season. You can just see here Hurricane Etta, which are formed over the very warm waters of the Western Caribbean, going from Category 1 straight up to Category 4 in a just 12 hours and obviously set to impact Nicaragua as well as Honduras, maybe up towards Belize as well and parts of Mexico. Rainfall amounts 900 millimeters, nearly a meter of rainfall expected to cause life-threatening flash flooding as well as riverine flooding all the way across the parts of Central America. You can also see some of that activity out towards uh, Jamaica, 300 millimeters expected here. Now the winds will be concentrated especially around the area of it making landfall out towards Honduras along the border in the two, maybe parts of Belize as well well, could be seeing tropical storm conditions and also some gusty winds are likely out there towards Jamaica. Now the track of Etta as it moves inland is set to obviously uh, downgrade itself as it goes over the land and eventually pushing towards the north and then out back over some waters near towards uh, Cuba. But right now we are seeing some effects of Etta out there in Jamaica, some windy conditions, thunderstorms expected through Tuesday, also scattering of showers likely for Port-au-Prince, but it's a completely different story out towards the east. For the lesser Antilles, we've been seeing quite a bit of Saharan dust around. It could be quite thick in places around the Leeward Islands. So you could be seeing for those with respiratory ailments, take the necessary precautions with some of that thick dust spreading southwards into Barbados as well, out towards uh, St. George's in Grenada, and then down towards Georgetown in uh, Guyana. Partly sunny skies and just occasional showers here with a high of 32 degrees Celsius. So that's your Caribbean forecast, and that's it for me.